What's up everyone? It's vlog team again for vlog number two. Uh, today we'll tell you about the parable of the three gifts. It's a parable composed by Block I. What's, what, what does it talk about? It talks about the three citizens of Dias who trusted in the words of God. And they received all the gifts. And after receiving the gifts, they used it to help others. Uh, this parable is in reference to uh, our barangay visit for Barangay Dayas uh, during our uh, combined performance task for uh, disaster for the disaster readiness subject for the re-ed and for Soxo. So uh, it is uh, it talks about our journey there and our trip and the lessons we learned and how we could incorporate. God into our business, uh, lifestyle, the economy, but this this parable really is into is focusing into the family aspect. So, yeah, listen to this. The parable of the three gifts. Jesus and his disciples were walking along the slums of the unfortunate Barangay Dayas. They noticed that families were very idle and it seemed to them like residents there have not afforded to eat three full meals in one day for a long time. Families did not have a stable source of income and as a result, their homes were often ravaged by disasters. Life there was undeniably poor and sad. Three individuals approached them, a street child, a male beggar, and a pregnant woman. They all asked for alms. For the innocent street child, they looked for a school nearby that is able to offer the child education. For the male beggar, they told him they could hand him an amount of money to serve as a business capital only if the beggar promises to let the business grow. For the pregnant woman, they assured her of a stable job after she successfully gives birth. Years have passed. Jesus and his disciples came back and visited the same place again. Again, three individuals approached them. A teacher, a wealthy businessman, and a lady with her doctor son. They all wanted to extend their gratitude to Jesus and his disciples. They all stood as living truths that we, that anyone willing to be saved will be saved by his grace. I realized to trust the words of God and believe in Him. Unless you don't do something that would make Him angry, uh, His promises will really come true to you. That's what happened to the three citizens or residents of Barangay Diaz in this parable. Do not waste the chance that God has given to us and even after we became become successful we should not forget to bow down to him to return to him because he is always with us and helping us in times of